Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem from Court Forces Educational Court Forces Round 89 Problem B Shuffle. So you are given an array consisting of n integers from a till a1 till an and only the ax, the x is given in the question, the ax1 of these elements is 1 and all the rest of the elements are 0. So you are given an array in which only one element is 1 and all the other elements are 0. Okay. You can perform M operations and you have to perform them in the order they are given. Okay. So during the ith operation when you are performing it, you can choose two indices C and D such that the indices should lie, lie between L, I and R, I and L and R, I is given at the each operation. So you are given L, I and R, I for each of the M operations and you have to choose two indices such that it lies between these two values and you have to swap these two values of AC and AD these indices C and D from this array you have to swap them then calculate the number of indices K such that it is possible to choose the operation and such that AK is equal to 1 in the end so so let, let's assume you are given we can take the example of and there are T test cases this is the first of M, uh, M operations but I am taking this example 4, 1, 2 so they have two operations there is an array of size 4 and the value which is initially 1 is at the index 1 and these are the two operations so that's what I have built there is an array these are the indices and the first index indices starting from 1 is 1 and the rest of them are 0 and these are the two operations which is given 2, 4 and 1, 2. So these are the two uh, ranges. Okay. So you can swap any two values. Okay. But given that it should be in this range. Okay. So now what you can do here is if you let's take this range when we are taking this range. We are on this range. This is 4, 2, 2, 4. Now you can take any two of the numbers in this range and swap them. But as you can see, if you take any of these two indices and swap them, this one is out of this bound of this indices. So you cannot take, if you either take any of the zeros, then the remaining array will be equal to zero only. The one will remain at this point only. Now come at to this point, we will take the range of from one till two. So now as you can see, if we don't swap anything, then 1 will remain at this point only. And if we swap with this point, because we can swap at any of the indices. So then 1 can get to this point and the total places 1 can be at the end. 1 can be at the end at this position or 1 can be at this position. So the answer is 2. Okay. So the thing is, you want to check at which of the positions 1 can be in the end after all these M operations. So I hope you understand this example first. So what you can see, I'll give you a random example and it will make you more clear. So always try to write some random examples and also do for the examples which are given. Okay. So let's assume one is at this point and the first interval is this. Then as you can see, if one is this, we can make one, one can be at this position if we don't swap anything. One can reach at this position if we do one swap. So one can be at the end, can be at this position or one can be at this position. So if the range is this and one is in this range, one can be at all these positions. Now the next range can be, let's assume this. Okay. So now if one is, if is in this range, as you can see in the first operation, I can make one go to this position after swapping. So initially one is at this position. Now after this, the first operation, which is this range, I can swap and make and go to this position such that one come at this and this will become zero. Now the second operation is this, this range. So now I can take this two values and make this also equal to one. So what we can observe here is we have to extend our range. Okay. Initially one is in this range and if one lies in this range, then all the numbers completely in this range will be okay. Now 
if the next range is such that there are some more elements which can get the next the next range has an intersection with the current range then we want to increase our current range okay so, but as you can see in this the, the one is initially at this position so what we can do here is we can make our current range point of left and right we can make left and right point to this position our current range is this start at this end at this if our first range is this position and our range left and right is this position we we cannot increment the range because this is this range has no intersection with this range i hope you understand this range has no intersection with this range so then this will not increase but now if our range this has some intersection with this range so what we will do here is we will shift this position to this and after after all them operations we will check the difference between the left and the right pointer and that will be our range so i hope you understand the logic let's move down to the code and it will make more clear so the input are n x and m we will take the input of n x and m l and r are given and what i have done here is in instead of taking this l and r which is actually given in the question to not make ambiguity i have taken the pointers a and b okay so i what i have told you both of them will point at this position which is the x position x index so i have make both of them point to x okay so now what we will do here is we will iterate over all the m operations or all the m operations we can do take the input of l and r and okay so now there can be few cases let's assume these are the numbers and our range is this our range is let's assume only these two numbers now the next operation is this so there is no intersection how we can check the intersection of this what we can do here is we can check for the left pointer first can we increment our left pointer to more left by inserting this how we can check we can check our left pointer will increase only in this case what is this case this case this case is if the, the if the new range which has entered if the right, right value is greater than our current left value and if our left value is smaller than our current left value then only we have an intersection with our left value and our left value will become this value so that's what i've checked if this is our current value if our right value is greater than our current left value and our left value is smaller than our current left value then our left value will will our current left value will become equal to the left value and same we can check for the right thing and then the answer will be just subtract both of the indices plus 1 because let's assume there is no intersection a and b lies on the same point then the the difference will turn out to be zero but there is at least one element so we have to count this element also so plus 1 so i hope you understand the logic as well as the code of this question if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one till then keep coding bye